We found happy homes for five more pups today. Ah, another daring do day of adoptions is done. And now I'll whip up a nice little old bone and biscuit casserole. Casserole? Yeah! I want something tasty like junk food. Hiya, puppies. For doing such a good job today, I'm taking you all out to dinner. Whoa, an evening out on the town? This calls for putting on the dog. Putting on the dog? What's that? What's that? When you dress up in your Sunday best, top hat and tails, fur coat and vest, when you look like a pup in a catalog, that's what we call putting on the dog. If you've had a flea bath and pedicure, if you've got style and self-worth, don't sit home like a pup on a log. Or nose up in the air there. If all dogs are born with one, why shouldn't we wear tails? Oh, I believe in you. Oh. Dress to the canines, groom and gown. A pure red pedigree, clothes hound. The corner wolves are howling and die music. Sounded like somebody dropped a radio in the garbage disposal. Speaking of garbage, Mommy Dara, smell up the place with this garbage truck, why don't you? 
That's the idea, Brutina. This is garbage night when every stray mutton down digs through the trash can set out for pickup. That's right. My secret weapon will draw them like flies to our truck. Mutts! Drive me nuts. They're a dog on disease. When I get my hands on them, all I ever catch are fleas. Cooler, it won't be too soon. He's made my whole life a dog day afternoon. <laughs> when I lock them up inside a barred pen, it's me who ends up in the dog once again. I can't think of anything to add to that. Can you? Sure. That's I'm the yucky, I do! Icky poo! I'll say it again. With no ifs, ands, or buts. Dogs drive me crazy. And mutts drive me nuts! Here it is! The Pets Are People 2 restaurant. Boo, a dress code. No fur, no feathers, no food. Right. That's because it's only for pet owners and their animals. What a nifty, neato idea. It's like feeding time at the zoo. Yeah, but they're eating vegetables and stuff that's good for you. I want to eat junk food. Psst. Bonsoir, Pouches. Are you looking for someplace else to eat? Uh, no, not really. I am. Then step this way for the finest in doggy dining. Leaping lollipops, straight puppies eating out of garbage cans. Have a seat, mesdames, messieurs, and all you garbage connoisseurs. If you're a howling hungry stray, I flip your lid at the canine cafe. If you've got taste, then listen, Bob. Those cold leftovers. Why be arfing? When you could be scarfing. Why be whining? When you could be dining. So if you are a real garbage gourmet, follow your nose to the pungent bouquet. Dance on down, dogs, don't delay. Your table's waiting at the King and Cafe. A can, some curs doing the can can in our can. Oh, uncanny. Aha, may I introduce one of our best customers, Monsieur Scrangel? He had a whole can full. Yeah, I like an appetizer before dinner. Now, uh, excuse me while I dig up a main course. Oh, what's wrong, honey lamb? Oh, just a tiny tummy ache. You must have eaten too much junk. But I never eat more than ten cans a day, seven days a week, not counting between meal snacks. Jeepers, he eats junk food every day. We, we all, all do. do. That's like me eating nothing but sugar. <sniffs> yeah, that's for me. But Whopper, they're all hooked. They're addicts, garbage heads, junk food junkies. Oh, no. Oh, that sounds terrible. What shall we do? Come back to the puppy pound with us. We'll find you hap hap happy homes with loving masters. And they'll feed you food, food that's good for you. Not me. No way. No, sir. Why not, Scrounger? Cause I'm just a junk food junkie. <laughs> Give me a dumpster. Suck a tash in a world of dog eat dog. What's wrong with eating trash? I got a taste for garbage. I 
crave the crushed star bone. Go teach an old dog new tricks, but leave this pop alone. Early birds dine on worms, bees on nectar sweet. Mm -hmm. But the world says, let sleeping dogs lie. I say, ha! Let eating dogs eat. Okay. I live on dumps and rubbish heaps. I dine at Choice Debris. I'm just a junk food junkie. <laughs> When there's a stink in the air, Katrina Stonehard can't be far away. I'm going to lock those moths right up in my pound and throw away the keys. We're gonna round up every mongrel in the house and sprinkle them with police. I'm going to give them each a collar so they will never grow. Be sure to howl and holler, because they'll never get I'm going to lock those mutts right up in my pound. And this line you can quote. I'm going to turn Cooler and his underground into a new fur coat. Oh. Retina, let loose the secret weapon. Goodbye, yucky, stinky, smelly, creepy, icky for doggies. That stench will draw dogs like flies to honey, and we'll be waiting like spiders. <laughs> now listen up, pups and puppets. Junk food can be hazardous to your health. Thanks, Cooler, but we've made up our minds. And our stomachs. And nothing can move us from this spot. <laughs> I've seen dogs picking up a scent, but that's the first time I've seen a scent picking up dogs. <laughs> oh! Suck! It's the mother load! <laughs> oh, my southern fried goodness! Auntie Katrina caught them all! I guess Cooler was right. Eating garbage is very hazardous to your health. <laughs> Get in there, you little garbage picker. I feel like the bottom it has dropped out of my life. Not yet, it hasn't. <laughs> Welcome to the little old pound puppy classroom, y'all. Here to instruct you all about a healthy diet is Professor Cooler. Welcome, puppy peoples, at uh, puppy pupils. Today's lesson is eat junk and your body turns to junk. And now, dumplings, it's time for show and tell. Here's Howler. Oh, hi again. Uh, this is my latest invention. I call it the pup. Scope, a patent pending. <laughs> it shows what different foods do to a pup's furry little body. Now here's nutritious dog food. Ooh, yummy! Yes, it's good for you because it's packed with vitamins and stuff like that there. Now those vitamins, also known as vitamin, <laughs> help keep a body healthy. On the inside of your outside, there's a whole wide world within. A body-building wonderland of mighty Vita-Man. On the inside of your outside, they're building teeth and bone. They want you strong and sturdy, because your body is their home. On the inside of your outside, they make your muscles grow. Without the Vita-Man. You couldn't walk, run, or throw. On the inside of your outside, there are germs to make you ill. But the vitamin, fight them off. They win and always will. Here's a riddle. Who's fit as a fiddle and scores a perfect ten? It's the always ready, strong and steady, mighty vitamin. 
Of course, it's a different story if a pup eats junk food. Yes, and uh, now to demonstrate, may I have a... Ow. Volunteer? Uh, uh, fine. Now, just uh, step behind the puptoscope. Hey, where are all the vitamins? They don't show up when you eat junk food. Instead, the blob guys move in. On the inside of your outside, things can be so sweet. The blobs enjoy a life of ease while you are feeling beat. When there are no vitamin with muscles to assist them, who can stop the germaroos from invading your whole system? These dudes move in and multiply until your body squows. So when you're feeling sicko, it's because of all them germs. Oh, those kind of stubby, really chubby, dumpy, lumpy slobs. Those pudgy, wudgy, piece of fudgy, fat and lazy blobs. Oh, no wonder I have a stomach ache. You gotta help us, Cooler, before the germ monsters take over. Yeah, what can we do? Simplemente, pupperoos. Eat a balanced diet and exercise. Make that pupper-size! Congratulations! You've all achieved a gold medal in the order of Hounds for Health. We're not so scroungy anymore. Do you think somebody might be willing to adopt us? Somebody? I know any little old body would. Now just imagine the master you'd be happy with. Hmm. Someone, somewhere. Someone who cares. A child to share their love. Somehow, some way. We'll find them someday by the light of the dark star above. He doesn't have to be filled with or have a pedigree. All it takes is puppy love to know that he's for me. There's something I know by the dark star above. Home. Come on, you healthy hounds. You're going home. <laughs> Katrina would be furious if we ever snuck over the wall. So instead, we sneak through. Oh, what's all that gunky noise? It's a pound break. The pups are escaping to the truck. Nino, Katrina saw us. She's coming. Follow me, crew. Here, perk up your puppy ear. Problemos are compounding. As long as there are strays, we'll send them homeward bounding. And rally to this phrase. Let's start, yeah, pounding. Pound puppies, pound puppies, let's start pounding. Pound puppies, pound puppies, let's start pounding. It's confounding. Our mission is astounding. This year we will be sounding. Pound puppies, pound puppies, let's start pounding. Holly, take the others to the children's home. I'll meet you there. Booga, booga, booga. Chasing puppies down the alleys is right up my alley. Oh, blast it all! We're stuck! And that stinky Pukula's getting away! Oh, no, it's not! Uh-oh. 
get in the Rooney. <laughs> Ellie you blue. Cola, you've sung your last song. <laughs> Katrina, you're just talking trash. <laughs> I'll say it again. With no ifs, ands, or buts, dogs drive me crazy, and mutts drive me no. Oh, oh. I fell asleep waiting for my wish to come true. How do we know the kids will even like us? Aha! So this is how! Oh, I've waited so long to have a puppy. Look, I even saved a treat for you. Aw, oh, thanks, Melissa, but I'll take a hug instead. You see, I'm just a health food hound dog. My body is no dump. And now I pamper every inch for my cold nose to my rump. Raining garbage cans for lunch was barking up the wrong tree. No more a junk food junkie. I got a health food pedigree. You know, I bet eating the right food is good for kids, too. You know, Wobber, it's certainly food for thought. 